Hey everyone and welcome to part 7 of creating a C-Sharp RPG game. So in this tutorial I'm going to go into the combat system a little bit more. There are a couple of variables that we're missing in the actual combat system itself. So if we're creating a MMORPG style system, attack system, um, there are a couple of other factors that go into attacking an enemy. So a couple of the things that we're missing is the distance between the enemy and the player. So if my player is on the other side of the map and they have the enemy selected far away, uh, they shouldn't be able to attack the enemy unless they're using something like a range spell maybe. But for melee, you usually have to be within a certain distance to attack that enemy. One other thing that we need to calculate in is if our player is facing the enemy within a certain angle. So if the player is facing off too far to the left, to the right, or looking, you know, the other direction, um, the player shouldn't be able to attack the enemy unless you want to set it up that way. But for this case, we're going to be adding in these new mechanics and it'll make it a little bit more MMORPG-like um, for that setup. So I've already pre-coded this. Um, I've set this up for previous games before, so I'm just going to go in depth of what I did to achieve this effect. So what we're going to be doing is adding in two more variables, and I'm going to be in my user stat script that we've been working on. So we're adding in two bools, uh, behind enemy and can attack. So behind enemy, it's going to calculate um, whether we are behind the enemy, which in that case, um, you know, if you want to act, add extra damage or anything like that, uh, I have a couple of um, different things in here, like extra damage, parry, dodge, things of that nature, um, and can attack. So this is going to calculate whether we can actually attack, whether we're at a certain angle or not. So we're going to scroll down. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure the selected unit um, that we have is not null. So if we don't have an enemy selected, we don't want to do anything. We don't want to call this script at all. So if we have an enemy selected, we are going to first grab the positions of our selected unit and transform, so our own transform. And we're going to be calculating this to check whether we're behind an enemy or not. So we're going to be using vector three dot dot, and that's going to calculate whether the player and the target selected are either facing the same direction, facing opposite directions, or are parallel to one another. So if um, so, if we so we're going to be checking um, either zero or one in this case. So if you want it to be the other way around, you would just change that to a one. So. Uh, for this, it's going to be saying that our player is uh, not behind the enemy. Or else, if we're facing um, towards the enemy, and the enemy is facing away with us, or from us, um, it'll be set to true. So, what you could use this for, yeah, like I said, critical strikes, uh, make sure that the enemy cannot dodge us, our attacks, and whatnot. And down here, we are going to be calculating whether the player is facing the enemy and within the attack distance that we specify. So first thing we're going to do is calculate the actual distance. So it's just a quick code to calculate how far away um, the player is from the enemy. And we're just going to calculate this down here. But the first thing we want to check is our actual angle. So we're going to be checking um, we're going to be calculating the uh, positions of both the player and the enemy, and we're going to be checking at what angle um, our player is facing, depending on where our enemy is at. So if you're facing completely away from him, you're not going to be able to attack. So what we're going to be doing is calculating if our angle is greater than 60. So if it's any greater than that, we're not going to be able to attack. So if we are able to attack, then yeah, we just want to calculate the distance and then we'll just be able to attack or else we can't. 
And if we scroll down here, this is the basic attack that we set up before. We, we're just going to add can attack in there. Um, you could add it to each one of your key binds or, you know, buttons. So it doesn't really mat matter where you add it. Uh, I just added it in here, and that's all we need. So I'm going to go in game real quick and show you guys what this does. So normally, if we're up close, I press 1. You see down here the HP of the enemy subtracted from all the way back here. It's not going to go down at all. Same for the angle. So we're going to attack again. It's going to go down to 80. I'm going to angle my character so it's facing this direction. You see it still works. And now it's at a point where we're attacking, but it's not dealing any damage until we get close. And then, yeah, then their HP goes down. So that is a basic way to set up the attack system. Um, soon we're going to be adding in some other attacks such as range casting. So we're going to calculate that a little bit different. We're still going to use some of the same variables, but the distance is going to change. And if our target's position changes out of range, we can cancel the attack and stuff. So we're just going to cover some of those basics in the future and some other cool stuff. So stay tuned for more tutorials in the C Sharp RPG series.